parts of downtown Raleigh soon become more food truck friendly. It's an issue before the Raleigh City Council. And that's where we find WNCN's political reporter, Bo Minnick. And Bo, what did they decide? Sharon, the council is one step closer to starting a six-month pilot program that would allow curbside parking for food trucks in certain parts of the city. Today, the council approved holding a public hearing on this issue in December. Now, those in favor of this proposal say they're looking at putting food trucks in what they call food deserts of the city. Specifically there, what they're talking about are places that are close to downtown that might not have a lot of restaurants around them and may be looking to attract more business to their neighborhoods. The warehouse district is a good example of a place that supporters think would make sense. Be a great win-win for us, for the food trucks, for the neighborhood. Kind of give, give some more options, different you know, exposure to different kinds of foods. We are talking about an industry that, when it cranks up to do its um, food prep, it turns on a generator that can be very loud and very noisy. And as you can tell, there are some who are voicing concerns or questions about this proposal and the possible impact to residential life, just like you heard there from Councilwoman Kay Crowder. Some also asking her about potential impacts to existing restaurants. Certainly all these questions will likely come up at that public hearing on December 1st. Live in downtown Raleigh, I'm Bo Minnick, WNCN News.